I wanted to call in and um, tell you about something that happened to me. Uh, uh, sure. Personal story, uh, kind of like a statement. Um, so a couple of years ago, uh, I was watching the show, mm-hmm. and um, I agree with everything that y'all talked about. Because cool. I was an atheist. Um, um, and uh, I believe that uh, when people you know, brought up the subject to me about God or Jesus, I dismissed it as a, you know, a fairy tale. I looked at them. I looked at them like they were crazy. They was crazy and stupid. John, can I ask you a clarifying yeah. question, really quick? Yeah, go ahead. Were, did you were you raised uh, in a religious environment, or were you always, you know, just outside of Christianity? Um, partly, I was raised partly religion. In other words, my mother was religious. My dad wasn't. Okay. Did you have a lot of it? Um, did, did you have a lot of experience in church? I went through the normal processes in church and uh, catechism, you know. Okay, and Catholic. Forth. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to, to, to get a clear sense of it. So, I'm sorry, go ahead. So, anyway, um, you know, I got to a point where I was a non-believer. There's no doubt about that. But, um, but so one day I was in my home, the same home I'm in right now. Mm-hmm. And I just got down on my knees and I prayed and I cried my heart out and I said, listen. Why would you do I Okay, I'm, I understand what you're saying. Why would you do that if, if I didn't believe it? Yeah. Because, but, because I, was, I was struggling with the, with the non-belief and I, and I just didn't know, but I wanted to know the truth. Either there is or there isn't. And I wanted to know the truth right okay. there and there. Okay. Okay, go ahead. So, so I, got on, I got on my knees and I prayed and I cried my heart out and I said, mm-hmm. dear God, if, 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 you know, I was really, I was really trying to reach out to my deceased mother, and I said, you know, if you're there, and it's real, you know, just give me a sign, let me know, because yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I need to know the truth, you know, now, soon. And um, in the in the next in the next day, or so, I started receiving, I started hearing knocks throughout my home. You started hearing what? That were very, very obvious knocks, loud knocks. Knocks, okay. That happened next to me as I was standing against the wall. Okay. It happened on the window, it happened on the window pane. Mm-hmm. It happened on, on it, what happened on, on doors that, that as I was closing. Okay. Hard knocks, I mean, um, deliberate knocks that would they are unexplainable. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And, and, and you, do you feel being, that that being, is a, a sign from God, that God was knocking? It, it, it is what it is. Well, no, I'm, no, I'm, I, 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 I agree it is what it is, whatever we have to say about it, but do you think that that was a sign from God? I do. And the reason I do, and I'll tell you why, hmm. because I prayed for it, asked for it. I didn't ask for a knock, but I asked for something. Right. And I did receive it. Now, right. now, now, there is no doubt in my mind what the knocks were. Okay, so... Would have been here, if you yourself would have been here to witness and hear what I heard several times in, the next, in, in, in a week's time, believe me, believe me, trust me, you would be, you would be, you would be asking questions also. Well, actually, you, know. you know, that that is a really great launching off point. Uh, so, I, th- that is a question of skepticism, and it's how you evaluate the things around you, how you're able to determine you know, where something is coming from and, and what you would weigh that up against, right? So let's say that, that let's say that, you know, let's, let's, let's put the it was God possibility there, and let's take a look at other possibilities. Do you live in an old house? Uh, yes, but it's not a house, it's a mobile home. Okay, do you have neighbors within earshot? Do any of them have cats? Uh, no, not, it, it, I'm surrounded by a huge road, a, a huge wooden fence mm-hmm. and a small wooded area that's way back in the back of me mm-hmm. okay. and my, and my, my relatives right next to me to the right. And okay. I immediately, I immediately jumped up and looked all around with open windows all around me. Totally cool. Um, I, well, I, I'm just, I'm just listing these out, right? Um, do you know? Do you understand that people are, have auditory hallucinations at times? That you're not outside of that, right? Like um, I can I can explain to you that uh, when my grandma passed away, I was very very upset and I fell to my knees and cried and I prayed and I thought I heard a voice that said Hashem, 
right? Mm-hmm. I looked it up, and that's 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 how uh, the people in the Jewish religion refer to God because they don't want to say God, right? Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I, I as I've gone in and taken a look at that, I was also in an incredibly stressful um, place, right? Um, I was prone, and I was open to anything, right? In that place, would you say that you were very, very emotionally susceptible? Um, I mean, I know I was. What's your name again? My name's Eric. Okay, Eric. Okay. And I respect you very much, and thank you for letting me be on the show, by the way. Absolutely, John. Um, um, I, and and, and I, I'm just trying to, I, I want to relate to you. I want to show you that, um, you know, okay. these kinds of things happen, but also okay. that, um, and, and, and really what I'm going at, I'm not trying to give you a gotcha. What I'm really trying to say is if you were to list out the things, including a psychotic break, right? Okay. Which happens when people are okay. super stressed. If you were to list those okay. things out and compare them against the God idea, um, okay. They are infinitely more uh, likely to have happened because okay. you need to show a lot of things to be able to prove that God. So let's just take the amorphous, non Christian thing out there, right? Okay, we can do that, yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's look at the amorphous thing out there that you're d- trying to decide as God, right? That you're calling God. Right. I'm, I'm trying to give you every possible thing that, that could you know, make you right. Let's take away the all-knowing, all-loving, all-powerful. All Let's take away the sent his son to die on the cross. Let's take away the book. Let's take away all of that. And this is just a thing that is happening to you. How can that thing interact in our world, right? If it's outside of the world, because, I mean, it would need to be unless you believed that it was a ghost. I guess we could talk about that. But am I, am I on the right well, track here? Well, Eric, let me just say this. I've been taking into consideration about the hallucinations and, you know, other things causing them out. But I can, I can also tell you, Eric, hmm. I'm very sound. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, uh, I don't know how to, well, I'm, I'm telling you that, that when, I, when, when this happened, I was not stressed. This was two years after my mother had died. This was just something. John, you said you fell was, to your knees crying out. Y- um, yes, but, but that's because I was searching. I, I wanted the truth. I wanted an answer now. So you were not stressed I wasn't at under that time? Stress. No, I was not under stress. I did that because I wanted the truth badly. It's now, not, it sounds I, like you I, wanted I, I, Listen, I was, ready, I was ready to dismiss. And the truth is, what I heard was real. Now, here's the thing. Am I saying, I'm saying that it was something. Mm-hmm. And, and whatever that something is, you know, if it is supernatural ghost, as you said, then what, you know, what is that? What does that mean? That, that, that's an amazing question. That's an amazing question. Let's no. take that. So if it was a ghost, it would still be more likely to be a ghost than a god uh, because that takes but, less... But, but if there's a ghost, but if there's a ghost and, and, and no god, then what, what is that? that? That has to be supernatural. Well, and I'm, 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 giving, I'm giving you this. I'm reaching as far out as possible to give you this, right? If okay. there is such a thing as a ghost then you're, and you're not okay. giving it the power to create universes and know everything about everyone, including all of their thoughts, and be loving and be able to touch their lives personally, that ghost, Mm -hmm. in all of those ways, is more likely to exist than a god. And I have no reason to think that that ghost exists. Right? Um, Mm -hmm. So if you're weighing it out, if you're weighing it out, then I would say that, yeah, um, and, and this isn't to say anything bad about people who have psychotic breaks, because it happens to everybody. Well, not everybody, but it happens. But, but, it didn't, right? but it didn't happen to me. Eric, it did not happen to me. Okay, how do you know that? It did not happen. How, how, how did you rule that out? Because what I heard was real. Okay. I heard no voices. Nobody called out yourself to me. Nobody said nothing to me. I've never heard or seen anything in my life. Mm-hmm. But I heard what I heard, and there's no doubt about it. Okay. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. It okay. It happened several times throughout the week. So Several times to catch my attention. So, the, the, I, 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 so okay, I won't doubt your sincerity <laughs> on whether or not it happened, but I will ask you again how you concluded that it was a god and not um, because I asked anything for it. else. I asked, I asked directly. I asked for it, and I, and I prayed and I asked for it. Okay. Because I wanted the truth. I was a non-believer. 
Then let's the, the, then let's not. dig down to the truth, right? Your I, I, I'm assuming, you know, we, you and I both live in the United States, you're in Louisiana. I'm assuming that you're Christian? Maybe? Possibly? I, 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 I cannot say that I'm a full Christian because I have just, you know, after this happened, I'm trying hard to be. I'm trying, I, I, you know, I live my life, I try to do the right thing, love, you know, forgiveness. Sure. And just the right thing. I'm not going to claim yeah. something so, that I'm not. But, so that's the right place to start is saying, I don't know, because that opens you up to have the experience of searching. And that's totally okay. And you know what? If you don't get to that answer in your lifetime, that's still okay because you're being honest enough to say, I don't know. And I, I appreciate that. What I do want to um, explore is the intent behind it. Because where I was gonna go with it, as I was gonna say, is if you know, we're talking about the classic Christian God, how come that God didn't just knock on the door and say hi, right? Instead, right. chose to knock right. randomly around the house, you know, or, right. you know, write you a letter or something like that. I mean, any of those things would be far more likely to have happened than um, that God, right? Um, all, all I can say, Eric, I want, I'm trying to be very, very honest. I, I appreciate I, that, John. All I can tell you is what happened to me mm -hmm. after I asked for it. I didn't ask for a knock. I just asked for something. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that it happened in a way. Couldn't that mean that, that anything uh, would have been an answer then? I, I think any kind of sign that would let me know, hey, you know, yes, this is real, and, and, and let me know in that way. It, it let me know in a knock. For whatever reason, I don't well, know. It, it, I, I mean, I, it could have been the TV turning on, and that could have been a sign, right? Mm, that would not have done it for me. That would not, no. but a knock did? It's several knocks throughout a week. Of, okay. I mean, I, I'm, Eric, I, 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 I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm just, knocks happen. Things cause yeah. sound yeah, to happen. No, and even no, if my, not, it, people it, can get let, that. Can I, can I explain this to you? You go right ahead, John. I was, I was standing in my kitchen, mm -hmm. and I had completely forgot about the prayer. I wasn't thinking at it at that, um, at that moment. I was standing there, and there's a wall, a solid wall to my right, and then next to it is a window pane. So the, the, on the wall next to me, it banged as loud as you could. You know, at first I was shocked. Mm -hmm. I was like, what, what the hell? Have you heard of exploding it, head syndrome? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have it, whatever it is. So anyway, listen to me. <laughs> right after the, the knocks, on the window pane, just as, just, it sounded just like someone would have taken a quarter. Mm -hmm. and stood there and knocked on that window pane like they wanted to break it. Sure. Um, I, okay, so, I, so, so do me a favor, John. Um, I, the, the only reason I'm cutting in at this point is because we're running late, and I, I want to get to a few more callers. I really want to have this conversation longer, though. Um, are you, would you be interested in calling again next week when my co-host and I are both on? Yes. Uh, yes, there won't be a Super Bowl? Uh, I have more time? I could, care less about, I could care less about a Super Bowl or anything else. Okay. I, I, I'd really appreciate you calling in. I'd really like that. I see that you have the number, but I'm going to repeat it for other people who are watching. 1-512-686-0279. Um, John, in the meantime, email us. Mail at talkheathen.com. What I'd really love for you to do is take a look at exploding head syndrome. It is amazing. And what it is, is it's been diagnosed. I'm not going to look at that because I don't have it. That's, 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 you're not talking to a... To hold on, a hold on, hold on, hold on. John, you would say that you can clinically diagnose yourself? Yes. At this point, talking, what did you say, exploding head syndrome? Yes. Do you even know what that is? Like, I, I tell you what, I don't know what that is. Okay. I don't have it. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> John, no, I'm, I'm going to have a conversation with you as long as you and I are both willing to listen to each other and to actually check things okay. out. Check it out, please. It's, for, for people who don't know what it is, it's, there is a so far unexplained uh, phenomena where people hear very loud sounds randomly. And some people have... But I don't hear randomly. It happened one time in my life. You said it happened, it happened multiple times time. throughout the week. Yes, listen, that, that's a one-time experience is what okay. I mean. It happened once. It yeah. quit. It's done. It's over. Check it unless out. I, unless it might be worth I, checking out. Not, see, okay, I'll listen to you. Now, now you listen to me and we can both understand each other clear. All right. I do not have it, whatever that is. 
Okay. I'm, I'm willing to talk to you, and as long as we, you know, can can be honest with each other. Yeah, yeah. But but you, but you can't put it off by exploding head syndromes. John, it, you know, we can we can listen to each other and we can disagree. The fact is, is correct. any explanation is more likely than a god, uh, because any explanation that doesn't revol- resolve or bleh, any explanation that doesn't revolve around supernatural things that nobody has proven yet exists, then they're far more likely. And I'm going to continue to do that because, and I'm going to continue to say that and talk to you about that because I think that's if important. You only, if you only would have heard what I heard as a nun, but I've heard not, not a lot. I have people not, knock not on my like door. This. I've been in, no, I've no, been to no, gun ranges. Do, someone um, has not knocked. That was no. I'm I'm just being honest. It's what I heard. It's what I know. It's what I feel. It's okay. real. It happened. So there's a difference there's no between if if you only care about what you feel, then we don't need to talk, right? If you care about drilling down to the truth and following this, the this, the this, answers, this, this, this if is, you this so is so again, John, if you care about what actually happened, then you're not going to start with the conclusion in mind, right? You're going to follow the evidence wherever it lies. And that can include looking up something like exploding head syndrome, right? If you're, if you're not willing to check out other possible responses or other possible reasons, then... I've already... I'm, I'm trying to tell you. You just diagnosed yourself on there yes. as a thing you don't even know. Exploding head syndrome? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. So... What's the point in us talking, right? Well, I have to get my story out. I have to tell the truth. Well, John, it is I, the truth. I I, I appreciate that you called. Um, I would definitely love to talk more about other things that could have caused it because I care we, about what yeah. could have happened. We, we right? can do that. We can, so as long um, as, as long as it's, it's not nonsense about exploding heads in zone, we can talk about it. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm willing. John, to, John. I'll talk about a lot of yeah. things. I'll talk about a lot of okay. things. I'll meet you where you're at. Okay. What I won't okay. do is okay. belittle people who have clinical diagnoses. Ever. That's, who, who is that? Right. People who are diagnosed That's... by a professional oh, yeah. to have an actual disorder or an actual problem who are non-neurotypical. I'm not going to go out of my way to say that... Um, uh, th- that, that's, that's just not okay. I'm not going to belittle people like that. So I appreciate that the, you don't. I don't either. And, and okay. they, they, they do exist. I okay. mean, no disrespect towards them. Okay. Then, then look it up before you start saying that you don't have it. Okay. I don't have it. Now, other yeah. people probably do. Okay. I okay. Don't, I don't disrespect them. All right. You know? John, uh, so, yeah, take a look. I, about it again. All right. I Thank have, you for your time. Too. Absolutely. You take care, brother. Okay. All right. All right. Anybody else who wants to talk about big knocks, that's fine. Uh, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Uh, if, if it's happening, you're most likely having uh, something other than a god. That's ridiculous. Um, I, 